What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve a non-linear system of equations using the substitution method, right? There's basically three different cases. You're either going to get two solutions, one solution, or no solutions, right? So I'm going to do an example of each one. So let's do this one first. So this one is y is equal to x squared plus x minus 1 and y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. All right, so as you can see it's saying that y is equal to all this crap over here and y is also equal to all this crap over here. So the first thing we can do is set this crap equal to this crap right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say x squared plus, or sorry, plus x minus 1 is equal to this one over here, negative 2x plus 3. Okay, now the second step is just getting all your terms on one side. And the reason we have to do that is because we're going to have to factor. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is add 2x to both sides. And then I'm also going to add or subtract 3 from this side, right? Subtract 3, so then we subtract 3 from this side, right? So then on this side, these terms cancel out, right? They just go to 0. And then on this side, we're going to have x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0, right? Since we don't have anything on that side anymore. Okay, so this is what we're going to have to factor. So we have, again, x squared plus 3x minus 4, okay? So... We're going to factor this. Now we have an x squared here, so we can break that down into x times x. And then to figure out the two numbers that go right here, they have to multiply to negative 4. Okay, they have to multiply to negative 4. So two numbers that multiply to negative 4, but they have to add up to positive 3, the middle number. Okay, so in this case, we would have to use a positive 4 and a negative 1, right? Because 4 times negative 1 is equal to negative 4, and 4 plus negative 1 is equal to positive 3. So positive 4 and negative 1. And again, this is all equal to 0. Okay, and then the last thing we have to do here is just set each of our parentheses equal to 0. So we have x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0, right? So then on this top one, our answer would be x is equal to negative 4. And then on this bottom one, our answer would be x is equal to positive 1. Okay, so you get two answers. Right, basically one for each set of parentheses. Okay, so since we got two answers for x, we're gonna basically get two answers for y. And the way that we find y now is just by plugging these back into one of these original equations. And I'm gonna pick this one right here because that one looks like it's a lot easier to work with. Okay, so this one is, and I'll write it over here, y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. Okay, so let's plug in our first x term right here. So we're gonna get y is equal to negative 2 times negative 4 plus 3, and that's equal to, let's see, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, so 8 plus 3 is 11. Okay, and then for our other one, we're going to get y is equal to negative 2 times positive 1 plus 3. Okay, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 plus 3 is equal to positive 1. Okay, and I'm going to move these down just to kind of match them up a little bit more clearly. So first we plugged in x is equal to negative four and we got y is equal to 11. Okay, so that's our first answer, our first pair. So at negative four, 11. And then the second one we did was x is equal to one and then we got y is equal to one also, right? So that's our second solution or our second pair. So that one's at one comma one, okay? So those are your two solutions to this system of equations. Okay, here's the next one. So we have y minus 5 is equal to negative x squared and y is equal to 5. Okay, so one thing we can do here is, well, the second equation, it's basically telling us exactly what y is equal to, right? It's equal to 5. So we can just plug in a 5 for y right there. Okay, so then we'll plug in the 5 for y. So we're going to get 5 minus 5 is equal to negative x squared. Okay, 5 minus 5 is 0. So 0 is equal to negative x x squared. Okay, now uh, to get rid of the negative sign, we can divide both sides by negative 1. So 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So we get 0 is equal to, then those basically cancel out. So we get x squared, right? So we get x squared is equal to 0. Now the only number we could possibly plug in for x right here would be 0, right? Because 0 squared is equal to 0. So here we have one solution for x. We have x is equal to 0. Okay, so we know what our x-coordinate is, and then we can plug it in back into one of these equations over here. But if you notice something, it already tells us exactly what y is equal to, right? It says y is equal to 5. So we know that y is equal to 5, 
okay? So then our answer, our solution, our ordered pair would be 0, 5, right? So then this problem would only have one solution. Okay, and lastly, here we have y is equal to negative x plus 7 and y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. Okay, so again, it's saying that y is equal to all this over here and y is equal to all this over here. So we can just set all of this equal to all of this. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to say negative x plus 7 is equal to negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. Okay, and then you just want to, again, get everything on one side. So we'll move it all to the right. So here we're going to add x and we're going to subtract 7. Right, so then on this side, we're going to add x and then subtract 7. Okay, so then over here, those cancel out. This whole side goes to 0. All right, so we're going to get 0 is equal to negative x squared minus x minus 8. Okay, now I don't like this negative x squared over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this whole side by negative 1. And again, what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So then 0 divided by negative 1 is just 0. And then here, all of these signs are going to flip, right? Because we're dividing by negative 1. So then we're going to have positive x squared plus x plus 8. Okay, that's a little cleaner to work with, right? So now we just have to factor this. Okay, so here we have an x squared. So again, we can break that into x times x. And then we have a, a positive 8 here, right? So what two numbers can I multiply together to get positive 8? But they have to have a difference of basically a positive 1 right here, right? The middle number. Well, in this case, there is no solution, right? Because the only ways we can multiply two numbers to get 8 would be 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. Right? So do either of these have a difference, or do they add up to, I should say, to positive 1? No, because 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, and 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, right? So neither of these pairs have a difference of positive 1. So that means we can't actually factor this, okay? And since we can't factor it, it's not factorable, that means there is no solution for this problem. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.